right, time for the test cut. Turn it up just a little bit. I left that plastic sheeting on too. No big deal though. Cuts through it, no stringies at this temperature. This temperature is probably good for some nice slow cuts. About halfway up on my uh, on my light dimmer, I've got a 16 volt 10 amp doorbell transformer. And the wire total length was about 17 inches, so I'm guessing about 14 inches of wire, 13 inches of wire, only 10 inches of cutting space, so a few inches on the bottom for spring tensioner. Took a box of these springs, or a bag comes with two springs. They're uh, 7.9, 7.94 millimeter by 76.2 millimeter by 0.7 millimeters. I cut one of them off, made it shorter because you don't need that. It's a pretty long one. 632 bolts. One in the top, one in the bottom holds the bracket. Only use two of them. 98 cents at Lowe's. Uh, let's draw a line on this and see how I do following the line. My line was a little crooked, so I'm sure this will be kind of crooked. Cuts through pretty good. It's a 32 gauge uh, Nikron wire. Probably put a little bit more tension on it, but I uh, it had little bends in it where it was rolled, so I just wanted it to straighten itself out a little bit. As time goes by, I might tighten it a little bit more. It's got tension on the spring, so it's good to go. My work surface is not real big. It's approximately seven and seven eighths deep by eleven and a quarter. long. The whole thing is only 16 by 21 and 3 eighths. So, let's see. I can't see the back so that's about 45. Let's try it. Just in case I blocked that, let's do it this way so you can see it. It was a pretty good job. I think I like it. The reason why I did this setup was I can remove the wires off of the table. I can build me a bow, build me a small knife maybe with some heavier wire. The screws I bought, the springs. The springs were like three bucks. Most expensive thing I bought. 
Oh no, I take that back. The nichrome wire. I bought a hundred foot of it for five bucks. Old transformer case. Everything else is from my garage, just leftover stuff. Cover plate from a lighting junction box. Uh, alligator clips are from an old charger, old lipo charger. Various washers and junk that, you know, everybody has in their garage. Well, not everybody, but most do-it-yourself handy. I, mean, I can't even say I'm handy, though. Most do-it-yourself want to kind of build, guys. idea of that wire connects up across the top to there and then the nichrome wire down through an aluminum tube to there and then back through this way back down behind the board around the corner and back to the transformer. Put tape around it just to prevent maybe if I don't shut it off or do something stupid I don't shock it against the side of the case because the case is an old battery even dead on me. Case is an old power supply. That stuff is all disconnected right now. I am gonna see if I can't find maybe a 120 volt uh, small fan. Shouldn't draw too much power and hook it up in there. Right now it does have the 12 volt fan in there. I might just uh, hook it up to the front see if it runs but I don't really want to burn it up. Um, that plug is not being used at this present time but I'm thinking about putting a switch in the place of the 15, 115 220 switch and uh, using a regular computer cord coming out of the back of it. And I'll have a heavier duty cord. I'll have an on off switch right there. Won't have this white cable sticking out. There she is. <laughs> 